welcome in this class we will discuss the formation of images by curved mirrors we know that two types of curved mirrors are there one is concave mirror and a second one is convex mirror so concave mirror generally if you take any transparent curved surface if that outer part is coated with silver the outer part coated with silver then inner point acts like a mirror then this mirror is said to be concave mirror inner part acts like a mirror then if same transparent curve coated with silver inside or concave part then the outer part or convex part acts like a mirror this mirror is said to be convex mirror okay these uh, two mirrors how the images are formed in this mirrors with this mirrors we are going to discuss so generally if you observe the images formed by these mirrors they may diminished or enlarged the sizes of the object will change why it is happening so we can learn this change of images with the help of the ray diagrams why these images in concave or convex mirrors changing enlarging or diminished what is a ray diagram ray diagram is a diagram which gives the formation of image of a object by these mirrors okay so then how we draw these ray diagrams we use some light rays at least two light rays which are coming from the object and incidenting on that mirror with these light rays we can draw the ray diagrams so what are the important light rays are used to draw these ray diagrams so here we are going to discuss few light rays which are used to draw ray diagrams so these light rays are the first one is parallel light ray to principal axis the light ray which is coming from the object parallel to the principal axis that light ray is used to draw the ray diagram and incident light ray passing from focal point f so the light ray incident light ray which is passing from focal point and incidenting the mirror and third light ray which is passing the incident light ray which is passing from the c center of curvature and the last light ray the incident light ray which incident at p pole okay the light ray which incidents at po pole also used to draw these ray diagrams so among these four light rays we mostly use these three so among these three we can use any two light rays we can draw a ray diagram we can form the where the place of the image is formed for particular object and the size of the image we can draw that so let us discuss each light ray first parallel light ray so here i am taking in case of concave mirror so this is the concave mirror and pole center of curvature and focal point now a light ray parallel light ray it is parallel to the principal axis incidenting on the curved mirror or concave mirror 
and this is the the radius is the normal line with the same angle it get reflected okay so this is very important light ray which is used to draw ray diagrams the parallel light ray that is parallel to principal axis after incidenting always it passes from the focal point okay from where this parallel light ray is coming that must be parallel to the principal axis if the light ray is coming from here so if it is parallel to the principal axis after incidenting it passes from the focal point here is a normal light so this is the first light ray par parallel light ray we need to use to draw ray diagrams and a second light ray the incident light ray passing through the focal point so here this is the curved mirror pole center of curvature and focal point a light ray is passing incident light ray is passing from focal point and incidenting on the mirror and normal line towards radius center of curvature and with same angle it get reflected so this is the second light ray which is used to draw ray diagram so here the light ray incident light ray is passing through the focal point and incidenting on the curved mirror and after incidenting it get reflected and it becomes parallel the reflected light ray becomes parallel to the principal axis okay this is the parallel light ray if incidents it passes from the focal point and if the light ray incidents by uh, from focal point then after reflection it becomes parallel so this is a second light ray which used to draw ray diagram and the third one third one is the incident light ray passing through the c center of curvature so this is the p and c f so now let us take a light ray is passing from c incidenting on it then this is the light ray third light ray we use to draw ray diagram then how it get reflected so here we know that this the distance between c and any point on the curved surface is radius of curvature radius of curvature itself normal line in case of curved surfaces so the light ray is incidenting along with normal line okay after reflecting it again passes bounces back the reflected light ray also passes by radius itself it bounces back so this is the third light ray and fourth light ray the light ray which is incidenting at pole so a light ray is incidenting it making set an angle the principal axis itself the normal line with the same angle it get reflected so this is the the fourth light ray among these four light rays we can draw by using any two light rays we can draw the ray diagram the ray diagram which gives the position and size of the image for particular object by the curved mirror so these are the four light rays we have discussed in case of concave mirrors then let us discuss how these four light rays 
reflecting after incidenting on the convex mirror so the first light ray parallel light ray parallel to the principal axis so now the curved part is this side so here it is focal point and center of curvature pole so this part the right side part is reflecting surface so here a parallel light ray is incidenting on that curved surface then how it get reflected so this is the normal line the radius itself normal line just prolong this this is the normal line this is angle of incident with the same angle it get reflected this is angle of reflection so this reflected light ray appears to be coming from the focal point okay in case of convex mirror if a parallel light ray parallel to the principal axis incident on the convex mirror it get reflected such that it is coming from focal point so this is the first light ray to draw ray diagrams in case of convex mirror then second light ray the light ray which is coming towards focal point so this is the pole focal point center of curvature for example a light ray is coming and incidenting on the mirror it seems to be coming towards the focal point so after incidenting on this mirror it get reflected the radius of curvature itself normal line this is the angle of incident and with the same angle it gets reflected okay this is the second light ray which is the light ray coming towards the focal point after incidenting on the convex mirror it get reflected okay the reflected light ray is parallel to the principal axis so this is the second light ray which is used to draw ray diagrams in case of convex mirror and come to third light ray third light ray the light ray which is coming towards center of curvature so if a light ray incidenting on the convex mirror so this is a coated point coated place and this light ray appears to be coming towards the center of curvature so the light ray incidenting along normal line then also this light ray bounces back it reflects the reflected light ray also passes back by observing same path as incident light ray so this is the third light ray which is used to draw ray diagram in case of convex mirror and the fourth one this is a convex mirror a light ray is incidenting at pole and see a light ray which incidenting at pole with angle this is the principal axis itself normal line incident angle with same angle it get reflected so these are the four light rays which are used to draw ray diagrams in case of convex mirror and concave mirror let us draw a ray diagram in case of a object with concave mirror as well as convex mirror first let us draw light ray light rays coming from a object and incidenting on 
concave mirror so here i am using two light rays this is the concave mirror center of curvature so let us say this is here it is a object from the top two light rays are coming the first any two light rays we have to use to draw ray diagrams the first instant light ray which is here it is a center of curvature itself normal line it's a angle of instant and with same angle it get reflected the parallel light ray parallel to the principal axis after instanting it get reflected and passes from the focal point okay so next light ray the light ray which is passing from the focal point and instanting on the concave mirror after normal line after reflecting this light ray becomes parallel to the principal axis so the first light ray parallel light ray instant light ray and second light ray the light ray which is passing from the focal point both are reflecting and intersecting at particular point here the image is formed so in this way we will draw the ray diagrams by using any two light rays similarly in case of convex mirror here it is a pole focal point and center of curvature and the first object is here first light ray parallel generally we need to take parallel light ray and it get reflected this is a normal line this it get reflected such that the light ray is coming from focal point this is the reflected light ray and it is the instant light ray so after reflection the light ray appears to be coming from if you observe from here you feel that it is coming from the focal point focal point and this is the first light ray and the second light ray the light ray which is coming towards the focal point which is seems to be coming towards focal point then it seems to be coming from focal point after instanting on it, it it becomes parallel the reflected light ray parallel if you observe this light ray from here it appears to be coming from it is parallel so both light rays intersecting here so then we can observe this image here this light ray is appears to be coming from the focal point and the second light ray is coming reflected light ray appears to be coming from here both intersecting here the image is formed here so in this way by using two light rays we can draw ray diagrams so this is about the light rays the important light rays used to draw ray diagrams in next class we will discuss clearly how the ray diagram diagrams are drawn if the object is placed in various distances from the concave mirror as well as convex mirror okay thank you